Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to fix the OSD flicker and uh, blackouts uh, screen uh, video feed blackouts on the F3 uh, V3 and it, it, it also works on uh, other uh, PDBs that have this problem as well. Now um, this flight controller, the F3 V3 um, is very good. I've had no problems with it except recently. Recently first it started to uh, uh, the OSD started to flicker, ignored it, didn't care, kept flying. Um, then, um, <clears throat> then I started getting complete blackouts. So what I did is, is I just uh, removed the uh, uh, camera feed f uh, from the FC and just ran it directly to the VTX. Uh, that solved my problem for a while, <clears throat> and then I started getting blackouts, like complete blackouts on punch outs and on on fast rolls and um, I was okay with it I was able to uh, fly with it like that for a while until I crashed and I basically wrecked this frame the whole top plate was just ruined so I had to order a new one and uh, I just replaced the top now and redid all the wiring and uh, there's one thing that I also ordered was the uh, uh, low ESR capacitors uh, this is a thousand microfarad uh, 25 volt uh, capacitor. It's a, it's a low ESR. It's a Panasonic, or at least that's what the post said that, that I got it from. I got it off eBay. Um, I was trying to go for 35, but I couldn't find, so 25 is good enough since uh, 4S is 16.5. So I think we're going to be totally fine with this. Um, <clears throat> now, I just made a little recording of me just punching out on the table with no props obviously and uh, you can see the OSD flickering now when the props are on obviously there's more uh, voltage spikes that'll cause more problems so I think after a while the uh, regulator uh, on this on anything basically any PDB just starts to get weaker I mean this is my theory I don't know if it's true or not but that's how it seems to me so um, the voltage spikes are just very much affecting and it's just getting more sensitive now so <clears throat> we're going to be adding this capacitor now and uh, hopefully that'll fix the problem. So I'm just going to add this in now. So <clears throat> this should go on the uh, VCC, which is the direct input from the battery. So which would be right here and right here. Now it's, it's pretty big. I think it's like the, the height of this is like the height this way is around possibly eight millimeters. So um, it's pretty pretty big so let's just see our current stack and see how we're gonna set this up I mean and I know <laughs> these are not titanium or something uh, just they're just like a paper clip I guess they're just keep bending it and it's gonna crack it's gonna break these so we have to place it somewhere where we know it's not gonna move much or in a way that it's just not gonna uh, vibrate as much I guess or just keep moving until it breaks and yeah so um, <clears throat> what I think I'm going to do is just probably I don't know um, I don't know, let me figure it out real quick and I'll be right back hey guys uh, so I figured it out um, <clears throat> what I did is I took some silicone wire uh, black and red and uh, I soldered it to the uh, um, the pins coming out of the capacitor and then I just put some uh, heat shrink and heat shrunk it so I won't get any shorts against anything. So I looked again at the board and I just saw that the, here's some VCC also for these ESCs. So what I see and what I found to be the best solution right now is to basically just stick the wires through the bottom of my receiver here. One moment. Anyways, um, all right. <clears throat> so just to stick them in like this, and just pull it all the way back. Mm -hmm. And then this flex is not, not not bending any of the pins. And then I'm just gonna solder these like this. One here, one here. It's the opposite. It's gonna be so that. I believe is going to be the best. It's not going to be in the way of anything. Uh, it shouldn't. There should be no reason to for it to move. So except vibration, but the vibrations, it's 
it's gonna be fine. So <clears throat> this is how I'm about to do it right now. And uh, let me get that out of the way and I'll be right back for our final test of the flicker problem on the bench at least. Let's see if it'll solve a problem that was on the bench. All right guys, um, <clears throat> so I flew it today um, and it was just unbelievable. Uh, there was some noise, but uh, the noise could be from anything. Uh, could be from the VTX, but I really didn't care. It's not even that much noise. That's not the point. There was no flicker. There was no video loss. No nothing. It was just flying amazing. Um, I'm actually... I actually believe this is way better than the diatome. Um, not in frame quality-wise, but as in... I think it's, it's even a lot lighter. I haven't weighed it, but it's lighter. And it's just unbelievable. Um, this is now... By far, my favorite quad. Um, so I'm gonna leave you guys with the footage of today's flight, and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. Um, I, I I know I enjoyed it, and uh, uh, see what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah.